So OnePlus just announced their brand new 8 Pro flagship Beast. Before our full review, we thought we'd take a look at some of the phone's great and not so great features so as to give you a little insight on what this phone is all about. Welcome to the 5 best and 5 worst things about the OnePlus 8 Pro. Let's start off with the display. It is very, very nice. At 6.78 inches, this Quad HD monster sports the highest color accuracy ever on a OnePlus phone. It's super crisp and clean, it's very bright and the colors pop, the edges are curved, it's just pure eye candy. And on top of all of that, it takes things a step up from last year's OnePlus phones with a 120Hz refresh rate. And the real kicker here is that you can set it to both 120Hz and QHD Plus for use at the same time, which is awesome. It really is a great experience. Next, OnePlus welcomed a couple additional friends to the party, the first one being wireless charging. Yes, finally. Now, this isn't your normal everyday implementation of wireless charging. OnePlus equipped the 8 Pro with 30 watt wireless charging capabilities, which makes for significantly faster charging speeds than what we get with other phones right now. So now, not only do we finally get it, we get a better version of it. We're talking a 50% charge in half an hour with OnePlus's Warp Wireless Charger. And OnePlus didn't stop there. You can also wirelessly charge other devices with the OnePlus 8 Pro using reverse charge. So you can juice up another phone, you can juice up some wearables, some earbuds. It's a nice addition for sure. The other new addition is an official IP68 dust and water resistance rating. Now, OnePlus phones have had general everyday water resistance for a while, but it's never been made official on this level until now. This is also a great addition, one for which I'm sure we are very thankful. Next, we're talking performance. OnePlus has pretty much always been about speed, and the 8 Pro is no exception. This phone screams speed and performance. It's got the latest and greatest with a new Snapdragon 865 CPU, Adreno 650 GPU, and either 8 or 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM. In addition to that, the phone sports Wi-Fi 6 and 5G capabilities for fast connectivity speeds, UFS 3.0 storage for fast data transfer speeds, fingerprint and face unlock are both very quick. We already know that both forms of charging are lightning fast, and pairing all of that with Oxygen OS makes for what is probably the quickest and strongest phone in terms of performance that I've used so far. Speaking of Oxygen OS, it's been a favorite for many and it just keeps getting better and better. It's so well liked that people not only prefer it over other OEM skins, but many prefer it over Google's very own pixelized Android. And for good reason. It's just so well thought out. A good example of this is in the battery section. They added a bedtime mode for when you've got the 8 Pro sitting on the OnePlus charging stand. Now the point of this is, since 30 watt charging is pretty stinking fast, it's going to generate some heat. So to combat that, the charger has a fan built into it, but let's say the charger is on a bedside table, that fan just might bother some users, so with bedtime mode, this will reduce the speed of the charging, which in turn reduces the fan noise on the charger. Oxygen OS has a lot of thought and attention to detail behind it, making it one of the phone's greatest features. But now it's time to get into the not so great things about this phone. The first one is its price. For the longest time, OnePlus has aimed to produce flagship killers with competitive specs and features without the heavy price tag. That obviously resulted in these phones lacking a few things some people wanted. But we all knew this day would come. And if we wanted those features, we were gonna have to pay for them. That's just how things work. Either way, a starting price of $900 is a tough pill to swallow. That'll get you the model with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. If you want the maxed out version with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, that'll run you $1,000. Yeah, but that's the price you're gonna have to pay if you want top of the line specs and performance with some pretty awesome additional features. Next, we're talking curves. As much as I enjoy looking at display curves, using a display with curves is a completely different story. And the 8 Pro's screen has some pretty serious curved edges. They're sharper and more dramatic than they were on last year's 7 Pro. While accidental input does depend on how you hold your phone, I think at some point everyone deals with it. And it's not the most fun thing in the world. Next, we're taking a look at that camera bump. It's thick. 
quite thick. Now, I'm sure there are good reasons behind it being this size, but regardless, it's thick and it's noticeable, especially when I hold the phone, my index finger hits it because it ends right where my finger usually rests. Now it's not a deal breaker or anything, but it does kind of get in the way. Using a case will definitely help out with that. In fact, OnePlus's own cases have a raised lip around the camera cutout to make the bump more flush with the rest of the back of the phone. Speaking of size, the phone itself is quite large as well. As much as I and many others enjoy large phones, they're definitely not for everyone. Even though the 8 Pro is just barely narrower and lighter than the 7 Pro, it's just over 2.5 millimeters taller than the 7 Pro, which just adds on to its not so one size fits all footprint. Lastly, this phone is quite slippery. Now, I absolutely love the matted glass finish on the back, but it's not the easiest to hang on to. So with the phone already being quite large and not the easiest to wield with one hand, it's also prone to slipping out of your grasp. Of course, channel sponsor Dbrand can help out with that. And if you wanna add some grip and some scratch protection, or if you just wanna switch up the look of your phone, they've got all kinds of colors, textures, and styles. They've got something for everyone. And you can check them out using the first link in the description. So huge thanks to Dbrand for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. There's a whole lot more to take a look at with OnePlus's new phones, camera performance, battery life, and what it's like using the phone as a daily driver, so stay tuned for our full reviews. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the Android Police channel and turn on post notifications if you're new. I'll talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching.